Hi everyone, Way Big Master here. As you can see, we're back with the third video in our Divi 3 series. If you want to check out the other two videos, please check out the links below and uh, you'll be able to go from there. But um, in this video, we're going to really dig into the Divi Builder and the Visual Builder a bit more. We're actually going to build up, very quickly build up a page using the normal builder, then head back out to the Visual Builder to make some tweaks. So, um, very exciting stuff. If you want to learn how to customize your theme or create any of the elements we've already created at the start of this video, um, yeah, check out the videos before this one. But for now, let's get to it. Okay, so we're back again. Once again, we've got our test page we are working on earlier, and uh, we've sort of built this with the Visual Builder. Now, before we mentioned we weren't going to go into the Divi Builder, but we are going to sort of touch on it slightly because there's another way that we can sort of work on this. So what I'm going to do is, although I can enable the Visual Builder by clicking up here, I'm just going to go Edit Page as per normal at the top. There's a few things I want to do. As you can see, our builder has been filled out as per what we've done with our visual builder. But what I want to do is I'm simply going to add another standard section down the bottom here. And I'm just going to pop some uh, some text around inside this section. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to add in, we're going to very quickly build this and then we'll maybe do some tweaks using the visual builder. So this is another, I guess, probably my preferred method is to build first, tweak after. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in some text We're going to say, who am I? And this is if you're a, pers a person running a blog and you want to sort of promote yourself a little bit, you can simply do that. I'm going to just copy some Lorem Ipsum text I have on Ipsum text I have on the side. So we've got the basic bit of text there. I'm going to save that. I'm going to add a photo over here. So we're going to go down to image. Now, if you're very familiar with the builder, like you can see, I'm sort of fairly familiar here. You can very quickly build the guts of what you're doing. Get that image. As you can see, this is just a, a picture I, I've gotten off a stock photo site, free images, which is the same as all the other images in this video, by the way. Stock images by freeimages.com. Um, I'm going to slide that in right to left. So I've got like a section here with some text, photo off to the right. And I'm actually going to do another section which is similar. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another module. I'm just first of all going to put a divider in between the two. Just as a, a cool way of breaking things up, I can choose, once again, a bit of a green color. I'll show, I do want to show the divider. And I do want that across the whole page. So we'll add a full width section, drag that divider down there. And then I'm going to copy this text pop that in place so I've got like just a bit of text here which you know you can type up pop an image off to the right a divider so you've got a bit of an idea of what you've done but you don't actually you can't actually see what you've done so far another thing I want to do is I actually want to duplicate this call to action so I'm going to once again click this duplicate button here come down pop it down the bottom here and I'm actually going to go in here I've still got the learn more I'm going to keep that all the same maybe I'll change it Earth friendly technologies is kind of like a technology design sort of thing, if that makes sense, like an earthy technology design. Another thing I want to do is I'm going to click on this again. I want to scroll down the bottom and I can actually change that label so I can call it uh, earth friendly so I know which section I'm actually looking at. So that way you see here earth friendly and uh, same you can do down here. Now this isn't a photo of me, but if you were someone building a website and that was, you can say photo of photo of me. I'll call it uh, owner, photo of owner. And this is just a good way that if you are using the back end, you can see the bits and pieces you're working on. You can also change these, that sort of thing. Don't have to do that right now. One thing I am going to do, I'm going to change this background image and upload a new one. background change that background color to yeah, dark green I'm going to add that cool parallax effect save and exit so we've basically got our call to action ready there maybe we want to duplicate this again this same row 
and hopefully if you hit the little hamburger button there, you can see the same, same sort of setup. But I'm gonna get rid of the image, which I can just simply do by highlighting the text, clicking delete, save and exit. Now the difference is I'm gonna turn this into a two button area, get rid of this text, and duplicate this text box yet again. Whoops, I sort of popped that in the wrong spot. Drag it into this left section. And instead of it being dark, I'm gonna make it light. So it's going up against a dark background. And over here, I'm gonna add, add a little contact form. Contact form there. Name, email, message, title. Contact us. So you can see there, got the contact form. The last thing I wanna do is add some blog articles. So this is a good idea. If you are a designer and you tend to do a mock-up first, this can be a good way to really lay things out. So I'm just gonna add another standard section. So I'm gonna go full width. I'm gonna go it back in here. I'm gonna make the background color black. I'm gonna add in the text again. I'm gonna say latest blog articles. And we're gonna make that a H2 heading, it's going on a black background, so we're gonna make that light, and we wanna center it. The next thing I'm gonna do is add another row within that. Now I am breezing through this a little bit quickly. Whoops, sorry, I've just changed that. Go back to full width, insert. So I can click on the wrong buttons here, add row. Now I want, once again, I've gotten a bit ahead of myself, insert a module, going to blog, we're gonna go grid this time. We're just gonna say go three posts and we wanna include all the categories. And we're just gonna go from there. So I've got a basic layout mapped out nice and quick. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to, if you were working on a draft, you would click save draft. But I've already published this just because it's a test website and I can do that. But um, at any point you can still go in and use your visual editor afterwards, even if you are just working on a draft. So I've saved that, and I'm gonna click Use Visual Editor again. Now you can see we've still got our page here. We've still got our icons, and we've added in a few bits and pieces to really just sort of fancy things up a bit. So now we've got everything here. Maybe we're not quite happy with the way things look. We wanna change this here. Maybe we can put about the company Maybe we want to change text size, that sort of thing. So this is a good way that if you lay things, you can lay things out quickly in the back end and then go through and edit later. As you can see, we've got a few issues that are popping up that we wouldn't have seen in the back end. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, we're going to make this text a bit bigger. So once again, you can simply click and go into your settings. We'll as well do the top one first, just X that. But we can click on this little cog icon here Head into design, we can change that header font size. I think because it's not a header one, it actually doesn't change. We want to change the body font size, make that a bit bigger. And we're going to do the same thing in here. We want to go in, design, text font size. Make that a bit bigger again. You can change the line spacing because maybe things are a little bit tight. So we do want to increase the line spacing. So this is a good way. You can just basically play with things and get them looking. Whoops, I looked at the wrong section there. Text line height. You get to really see what you're doing as you do it. Now we've got a green button here against a green background. We definitely don't want that. This is great text, it's a bit hard to read. So once again, I'm gonna head into our little cog section here. Design, our header font size, maybe we don't want it to be quite that big. We're gonna shrink it. Body font size, it's a good size. But we're gonna change that text color to, maybe we'll go for a green, no, it's still a bit hard to read. So we're gonna go up nice and high, and get it more of a light sort of color, but not quite white. I'm gonna head down to our button button background color. We're gonna make the background white. Scroll up and we're gonna make the text color black. 
And then of course you can change your border, which is in here. So we've got text color, background color, border color, make that white. And then just for a bit of fun, we can change the hover. Hover text color, maybe we'll make that white. Hover background color black. Hover border color black. Now I've accidentally scrolled up there. But as you can see, we now have this section here, that button. Now, previously we increased the spacing of our call to action, the, the one that we actually duplicated. Maybe we want to shrink it back down again. So what we're gonna do is actually select that. And we're going to just decrease that spacing a bit. As you can see, we also have that nice parallax effect on the background that moves at a different rate to the rest of the browser. Once again, we can click on this here. Move that across. Once again, we've got a funny, bit of funny button set up. We don't want that. We want to sort of maybe go for the white again. So we'll go back down, custom styles for the button. So this is just, you can go through and you can change things around and really get the, the look you want. And it's just, it's really cool the way you can just play around and see exactly what you're doing. And uh, as you can see here, already things are starting to look a little bit better. I've sort of clicked a few, a few funny buttons there. Button border color, white. So we've got our border, our button looking more the way we want. We haven't set up that um, hover background yet. So hover background color, maybe we'll go with dark green, something like that. Just for now, boom. Obviously you want to change that text to white. We sort of get the idea from there. Um, just remember you can change the way these contact fields work too. That message is a, sort of like a half width. We want to make that a full width. So now we get this much more attractive looking uh, field there. Get back into the design. Then pick that. Sort of back and forthing a little bit here, so just bear with me. So we're going back into the design and we want to make that header color white. You can see there's a fair few options here. Title font. That's what we want to do. Title text color. I'm going to make that white and we have the same the usual options we can make it bigger smaller whatever tick that off once again we've got our padding we can change that by clicking on it dragging it around same again i've actually clicked the row below so we've got this nice little contact area maybe you want to say to get a hold of us and maybe you want to put some address details down there or a message telling people you know hey contact me say hi that sort of thing and um, go from there so we've got a nice landing page set up there it's pretty straightforward we got latest blog artic articles older entries so you can go through there's a few different ways you can set up your blog but that's just a, a nice little uh, landing if you want to get people to read your blog articles you can pop that on onto your page so we've got a nice landing page set up there pretty easily. So what we're going to do once again, we're going to click on this button and we're going to save. So now we're saved, we're going to exit the Visual Builder and we're going to take a look at our page. Here's our page ready to go, work smarter, learn more. At any time I can go back in and edit. We've got our three icons. We've got our little info section there, Earth Friendly Technology. And that sort of thing and at any point we can still go back into our theme customizer and change a few settings around and because this is already set up we can actually create and uh, tweak to a very sort of particular degree the things we want to change so I can still go back into my general settings layout settings I can go for the box layout if I want to which is pretty cool you yeah, know you can change your background color that sort of thing you can also get your left align menus uh, yeah, the usual stuff you had with the Divi, the Divi theme. So now that's just a brief overview. There's so much more to explore. There's so much more I want to show you, but I just simply can't in this video series. But there will be more videos coming because I really like, really love this theme, and I want to show you all the things you can do and give you a bit of a hand in getting the look you want. So uh, please, if you get the chance, subscribe to this channel. If you want to download the Divi theme, um, yeah, head on to over to uh, the link below. Uh, also give you a link just after we're finished here just on on the video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later
So as you can see, we've well, we really only scraped the absolute surface of this theme. Like it would take me hours to go through the entire theme in a video. So uh, I do highly recommend you check this out yourself because it is absolutely fantastic and I use it for just about every website I use. Uh, every, I create, sorry. Uh, it's just absolutely awesome piece of software. So if you do want more information, please head to www.willbuildyourblog.com slash divi3. If you want to go ahead and download the theme and play with it, check it out for yourself, which I do highly recommend, head to www.willbuildyourblog.com slash download divi. Once again, I do make an affiliate commission if you go ahead and purchase this theme through that link, but no, this doesn't affect your price, so this is a fantastic bit of software. This is really worth checking out, and I would recommend it even without the affiliate link. So do check that out if you get a chance because it is fantastic. Otherwise, if you like these videos and you want to see my more of my upcoming Divi 3 videos, I'm going to be check, taking a look at how to do a lot more things, how to create a lot more different effects and pages and further customize your website, please subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.